Uh, hello there everyone, my name is Orca and welcome back to another Orca's Guide to Celestia. And today we are going to be looking at the Celestia Winterfest minigame Snow Boys. Um, and, and the Winter Festival is going on until January something. Don't remember the exact date, but it is, yeah, 122. And so January 22. Anyways, we are going to look at Snow Wars, which is a fun little mini game that comes around once a year. And there is a how to play guide down here if you would like more information about how to play and all that, all the stats and stuff. Um, this is just going to be a quick overview guide on how to play the basics of it. So anyways, to play you will need war tokens. You use one war token for each game and these would punish every 30 minutes, the ones on the top here. And for bonus tokens, you can get them from exploring in the fest zone or from the festival shop. And if I can... Yeah, thank you. Then, like, we have also a handful of tokens and regular snow tokens. So if I use one of these real quick and use that, and that will give me a extra token to play so when these five run out i can use the bonus token and for a handful of tokens i believe you get three tokens and these go for pretty cheap on the broker so like around 100g sometimes sometimes it's west i've seen it go for 50g sometimes west and that even so yeah these are pretty common if you want to grind this game for some reason, you will not have a hard time doing that. Anyways, there are two modes. We have the versus AI and versus player. Um, for versus player, you basically get put in a queue and you just wait until someone else wants to play, join the queue as well, and then it's a whole different thing. Um, if you want to play against someone, and no one else is in the queue, you can always go into fast chat. Um, you won't get a ticket from the queue, I don't think. Um, you can just like ask, hey, does anyone want to play? And usually someone will reply and join the queue as well. Um, and I believe you can get a title for it, winning a game of one of these. And yeah, um, pretty cool. Um, it does take more time though, but it is great for uh, having an opponent with an actual brain instead of the computer. And then there is the versus AI, which I will be showing you because I am one person and I do not have another player to show you versus player. Although the mechanics are pretty much the same thing. Anyways, we have versus AI and you just have to click which one. And from here you can also access the how to play screen with all the stats and stuff. You can cancel the game, which you just cancel, and you will not lose any tokens. Anyways, we will wage war. And then we have the tiers. So to start with, you will need to play this tier. And I already played a few games, so I have a enough to play a tier 1 game. But yeah, so basically you will be playing this tier and what was it? It was like 10, no not 10 games. It was more than, it was definitely more than 10 games. You have to play quite a few games to get to September. And then after that, you can slowly make your way up the tiers. Um, I will personally be playing a tier one match actually no i'll play a regular match because this is how you like rank up your level and uh, unlock all of the tiers anyways um we'll play a rank match come from your tier you'll want to put down your snow flight because that's required um i personally like to put a towel in front and i just realized i am basically showing off my whole strategy here oh well anyways i like to put a towel in front and then cannons a few of these because it, it's it can be hard to project what you're gonna get and so 
this is the format that I like to use, the formation that works for me. And each of these have a different usage. And I will show you those in the game. And yeah, um, you can put up to two snow towers, up to a certain amount of cannons, render cavalry and nutcracker soldiers. And it will tell you in the when you are placing them. And then we have booster cards. And I believe I have a few of these. I don't know which one I have. I believe they'll not these. Cavalry? Yeah, I, I have four cavalry cards. I, I just kept getting cavalry cards. And I don't think I have any artillery. No, I do have artillery cards. Okay. So, to use these, we can just click on the card and then put them on the cannon that we want them on. Use a boost. And so now this cannon has an extra set health. And that basically these green bars show you how much health a each of your units has. And over time it will go down and this frostbite tracker goes up and also deals damage after it hits the end of this and then resets. Yeah, it's a whole thing. Anyways, let's start the game. Okay, so this is the opponent's side. It is randomly generated. And I believe if you use a booster card, they use a booster card. Um, I haven't tried, I haven't like tested that properly though. Um, yeah, I haven't used a lot of booster cards, if you can't tell. I usually just sell them. Anyways, so you want to basically try to either eliminate most of the opponent's units or eliminate the fort. The um, best one to use for that is the cannon because the cannon does like 3 hits and that fort is dead. Um, but anyways, each unit has a strength and a weakness. So for the, um, for the window cavalry that, I don't know, for the nutcracker soldiers, they are really good at defeating the window cavalry, but the window cavalry are really good at defeating your cannons. Cannons are really good at defeating like your towers. And yeah, um, it's it's basically a cycle. His dual like, towers can basically knock out pretty much any of your group in a matter of rounds. Um, yeah. I never said this game was simple. Anyways, you want to make sure you, your like, tower isn't being attacked. That's that's the main thing. Do not let this get attacked by that. It will not end well. Anyways, I'm gonna put a few rounds of this and show you how this works. So, um, it's a bunch of strategies. So basically think of it like a chess match of sorts. Your units will do various amount of damage to do to different things and it's a, you just have to basically fail. So, so window cowboys is really good at taking out cannons. And the level of difficulty ramps up the further you go on the rank. And I'm gonna move that over here in a bit. Uh, okay, yeah, now I can move this. So this one was a pretty quick match. Um, there are some rounds that can take a while. A lot of stalemates have happened. And the false flight tracker is slowly creeping up. Um, the time remaining is unlimited for the um, player, I mean, no, the versus AI matches. It is limited when you play a round against a another player so don't take too long if you are playing against someone else and just do that and i'm going to move this over here so i can show you the difference in damage and okay now we can do that 
so this my cannon took out quite a bit of the fleet my linear cavalry does not take out quite as much damage and that's basically how it looks for most of these like you um there will always be that one unit that does a little less damage than the others to a enemy and a little more damage to others and I don't know if that makes sense but you do get rewards for winning a match and sometimes you can get a bonus reward you can get RV items those are pretty real I haven't really gotten any so far you can get um, Snow Wars booster cards, you can get Ice Sculpting Agents, I believe I got Flesh Essence once, Frost Essence, that was a while ago though, so don't quote me on that. Um, yeah, there's, there's a list of prizes, if you are crazy, you can go for the Ouija boards, and yeah, Nervous, and they'll you have been on the winter board since day one. You you have to start from day one or you have to grind for ages to get up there. Um, you can also upgrade your cards if you want to get stronger cards. Upgrade. So like use three cards for that. But it's not a bad trade off, especially at the higher rank levels. For the task, you need to basically just clear out your more tokens yeah that's pretty much how to play the game and i'll play one more bonus match just uh, i forgot to place the unit and yeah i will play one more bonus match just so that you can get an idea of how a different match might play out same information as always because this one works for me um, you might find that a more cavalry heavy formation works for you or a more nutcracker heavy one and you can also see how many units of each of course. You will always need a snowfall and you will always need to place um, two first eight units on your side and you can place them in any order honestly. But yeah, this is the format that I like to use and works for me. So I'm going to put a few booster cards on this. Just so that... Uh, we're going to go with Calvary. Again. Use a boost. I can use quite a few of these cards, honestly. I'm going to put that on that. That game. Yeah, it's okay. Cool. Nice. That's this is all right. Um. Yeah. And sometimes if it doesn't click, you just have to reload the page. It's not not too bad. Could be worse. Um. My thought process here is that I need to take out the cannons. Because those do a lot of damage, even if it's not like a target that you're supposed to hit. Like, kind of good for like the force and the towers, but they do do a number on other enemies, which can be a pain. Like, silly, so some of these can be an actual pain. Oh wow, that was fast. That was, that was really fast. Okay, we are going to do that. Pretty intense battle. Okay, cool. We lost the tower, it's fine. Um, but yeah, you will want to use the cannons to take out the towers because the towers can attack in like a one range radius and they do a lot of damage. You do not want that thing shooting ya. It will not end well for your unit. Ooh, and the first bite tracker will hit in a minute. Fun. Uh, we will move you here. So don't need ya. And the first bite tracker hits, and everyone 
on both sides length down. And that is important to note, both sides of the game will take damage from the frost bite, not just your side, which is really helpful, honestly. And quickly take out the towers. Quickly take these out as well. Um, in a smart player, would have like moved this cannon over to a round deal and start to attack in my forge. The AI is not as smart, and thus. I have free lane. And I'm going to take out the tower this time just because. Uh, yeah. There we go. There. All units down, or all for the foot has to go down. And we did not get a bonus item from that, sadly. And I think my reward token to be punished. Anyways, um, you also get. A prize if you lose. I have not lost yet, so yeah. Um, but you do get a small witch or something if you lose, and you can still get bonus items. You just it's just more fun if you win because you get like, extra points towards your next tier and all that. And so yeah. Um, anyways, that was Snow Wars, and of course, if you want extra stuff, you can get it from the shop. There are booster cards here. Um, you can get tokens here, handful of tokens, and you can get quite a few from those just by running around the festival zone, or the trade Goku. Anyways, yeah, that's pretty much it, um, hope this guide was a bit helpful, and yeah, keep adventuring and I will see you guys on the servers. Bye!